This video will discuss the use of Robot Basic in education. Programming is becoming a standard today. It should be an educational fundamental, just like reading, writing, or arithmetic. If you use programs like Access or Excel, or even an HTML code editor, you're doing programming. Programming is becoming a part of nearly everything. Even electronics design is becoming very important using things like VHDL. Perhaps most importantly, programming can develop mental skills. Currently, our graduates have an enormous lack of mathematical and engineering skills. Programming can help them develop problem-solving skills, promotes logical thinking. The best thing is that programming can provide a relevant mathematical application that can allow these students to become excited about engineering and mathematics. One of the big problems is that programming courses in our high schools are often non-existent. The reason is current languages are very difficult to teach, and students are very unmotivated with the way they're taught. Untrained faculty is a big problem. Yes, they're taught how to teach, but not how to program. Add to that the high costs associated with languages and keeping them current, and you'll understand why we don't have programming classes for our high school students. Even if we have a course, the course is often taught very boringly. The examples used to teach the students how to program are things like finding the factorial of a number or counting the words in a sentence. These things are just not relevant to today's students. Add to that that there's an emphasis on syntax instead of on concepts, and you understand why students just aren't excited about this sort of thing. The solution, I think, is to have very relevant and exciting applications. The first of these that I want to discuss is robotics. If you put robots in your classroom, you'll have a very excited group of students because it's motivationally exciting. Robots are important because it's a new paradigm. Just as a long time ago, you had to build your own computers if you wanted to learn how to program. The same thing's true in robotics. There are already many easy ways to get robots that you can learn to program without having to build everything from scratch. This is so true that you're going to find more and more robots in schools today. There are problems with it, yes, but we'll discuss those more in a minute. Another way to get our students interested in programming is to involve them in simulations in video games. Because students love to play video games, it really appeals to their interest. They are very motivated if they learn how a video game works and how it can be programmed. Simulations can also be used to relate the student to mathematics and physics and engineering and help them understand why these things are so important. One solution to all these problems is Robot Basic. Robot Basic is a very powerful language, Windows style user interface. It has unlimited arrays, floating point variables, even matrix operations. It has all the power you need for an engineering or a control application and yet has an extremely easy syntax that makes it easier for beginners. It is a very powerful language that can bring power to everyone, no matter what your level of education. Robot Basic even has hardware extensions that allow you to control external devices like robots. You can interface to anything you wish through the serial ports, the parallel ports, USB ports, even the Bluetooth ports make wireless access to your robot easy for everyone. We've put many, many commands into the robot basic language that can motivate the students. Just one example of these is vision. We've added commands that allow a program to capture images and compare those images to find colors in the images, perform statistical analysis, do image processing, all sorts of things that allow a vision application to be done in only a few lines of code even by someone that has very limited knowledge of programming. This is an amazing thing that can get your students very, very excited. Let's look at an example of a humanoid robot that we've added some vision with only a very small program. This humanoid robot is sort of a puppet. It's controlled by servos through Robot Basic. It has a webcam mounted to his head with a simple rubber band. As we move this object around, notice his eyes. Notice the way he moves and follows it. In the background, you can see what he's actually seeing, and you can see the little box showing the object that he's finding by looking for the particular color of the brush. 
In this particular case, he can recognize three different objects because it's a very short program. I see the red veggie brush. Another great thing about Robot Basic is that it has a built-in robot simulation. This allows every student to have a robot of their own when they're learning to program. This is an ideal robot, a robot that has infrared sensors, ultrasonic sensors, electronic compasses, GPSs, and many, many more sensors, allowing the students to get very excited and do very interesting things. It allows them to work at home, do homework with their own robot. These programs even have built-in protocols that allow the same program that controls the simulator to control a real robot should the school decide at some point in the future. Here are some examples of the robot simulator in action. This is a robot solving a maze. Next, we're using the infrared sensors around the sides of the robot to allow it to detect an object and learn to follow a wall. Here, we're teaching it how to mow the grass. Very interesting applications that can keep your students excited about learning to program. Robot Basic has very special commands to allow animation and simulations to be created easily. Even beginners can create exciting and interesting programs with an hour or two of instruction. This can get everybody excited about learning how to program. Let's look at some examples of video games and simulations performed by Robot Basic. Robot Basic has a very simple but effective 3D system. You can easily allow students to learn about 3D coordinates. Here we're manipulating bitmaps to create the illusion of movement with a puppet. Here a simulation is done of a space station moving it around through space in a, gra a gravity-free environment. Here we're looking at the physics of a spring letting the students understand exactly what those equations mean. This is a simple video game from our beginner's book. Everything is done from circles and squares. As you see, there are many types of games that can be programmed with Robot Basic. Bummer. Simple games can be programmed in a very short period of time with even students of very, very low levels. Each of the games is complete with sound because we have lots of ways to do it. Here again, bitmap manipulation allows easy production of games that need that sort of thing. Simple games like X's and O's, artificial intelligence can be explored. And now for the most important part. Robot Basic is totally free. There are no purchasing costs, no upgrade fees, no site licenses. Every student can download their free copy to use for homework. And your student and your school can put it on your network and let everyone use it. We'll even provide free faculty training if you're close to me in the Atlanta area. And even if you're a long ways away, if you'll foot the bill for the travel expenses, I'll give you free training there too. But you may not need to do that. We provide some very low-cost books that can help you so that you don't need specific training. Our Robot Basic Projects for Beginners is super for high school students. I think you'll love the way it makes it easy to do things. We would love to have every student have a copy, but if you can't afford that, just have the teacher have one. Our Robot Programmers Bonanza is a college-level book that teaches all sorts of things about how to program a robot. It uses the simulator through nearly all of the book, but it even has a chapter that shows how to build a real robot and use the very same programs to control it. If you go to robotbasic.com, you can find out about these books, download your free copy of Robot Basic, and find, read about all sorts of extra features, even get links to more Robot Basic videos. I hope you've loved what we're giving. I hope you enjoy using it. Robot Basic can really change the way students feel about engineering and mathematics and programming. Thank you for your time.